The 7 7 important messages for whoever needs guidance to the true religion with evidences from Quran and Bible Part 2. Message number 3. Belief in all the books revealed by Allah. You should know that before Muhammad, Allah the Almighty revealed many books among which are Torah, Psalms and Injil, Gospel or Good News, to the Prophets, peace be upon them, for the guidance of mankind and jinn. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. Allah is the one who alone deserves to be worshipped. He is the one who lives perfectly without any death or deficiency. He exists by himself and is not in need of any of his creation. The creation only exists through him and is always in need of him. He has revealed to you, O Prophet, the Quran with true stories and just laws that are in agreement with the previous divine books, and there is no contradiction between all these divine books. Before revealing the Quran to you, he revealed the Torah to Moses and the Gospel to Jesus. Ali Imran 2-3 Doing good that pleases Allah does not just mean turning towards the east or the west or disputing about that. Rather, it is having faith in Allah as the only God, the Day of Judgment, all of the angels, all of the revealed scriptures and all of the prophets, without distinguishing between them. Charitable spending, despite loving and valuing wealth, to relatives, orphans, the poor, the stranger who is cut off from his family and homeland because of a journey. And whoever has a need that makes it necessary for them to ask people for help, giving money to free slaves from captivity, establishing the prayer as Allah instructed, giving zakat, being true to promises, and patience in poverty, hardship, illness and in times of conflict without fleeing. Such people are those who are true to Allah in their faith and in what they do. They are the mindful who follow what Allah has instructed them to do, and who stay away from what Allah has prohibited. al baqarah colon 177 they believe in the revelation that Allah sent down to you, O Prophet, and in that which He revealed to all the other Prophets before you, peace be upon them, without distinction. And they have a definite belief in the afterlife, with its rewards and punishments. al baqarah colon 4. Say, O Muhammad, to those of the Jews who say that Gabriel is their enemy among the angels, that whoever is against Gabriel, who revealed the Quran to your heart, with Allah's permission. Affirming the sacred scripture that came before it, such as the Torah and the Gospel, showing the way to what is good and bringing the good news to the believers of the bliss Allah has prepared for them, then he is misguided. al baqarah 97 The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, believes in everything that was revealed to him by his Lord, as do the believers. All of them believe in Allah, all his angels, all his books that he revealed to the various prophets and all his messengers that he sent. They believe in such messengers without making any distinction between them. They say, We have heard your instructions and prohibitions, and we obey you by following your instructions and leaving your prohibitions. We ask you to forgive us, O Lord, for in all our matters we return to you alone. al baqarah 285 And this Quran is a book that I revealed to you, O Prophet. It is a blessed book that confirms the heavenly scriptures that came before it, and was revealed to you so that you could warn the people of Mecca and all the people in the east and west to come to the right path. Those who believe in the life of the hereafter accept this Quran, practice it and guard their prayer by maintaining its requirements, essentials and recommended. al apostrophe and colon 92 this Quran, miraculous in its eloquence and law-giving, could not be fabricated, and it cannot be attributed to anyone but Allah. Because people are not capable of coming up with anything similar to it. Rather, it confirms the scriptures that were revealed before it, and clarifies the laws in it, and there is no doubt that it was revealed by the Lord of all created things. Yanis Colin 37 in the stories of the messengers and their peoples, as in the story of Joseph and his brothers, are lessons to be learned by those of sound mind. The Quran, which contains such narrations, is not words which are made up and fabricated about Allah, but a confirmation of the divine scriptures revealed from Allah and a detailed explanation of everything that needs explaining through sacred laws, and guidance to all that is good, and a mercy for those who have faith in it, because it is they who benefit from what is in it. Yusuf Colin 111 the scripture I have revealed to you, O Messenger, is the truth in which there is not doubt, it has been revealed by Allah affirming the precious scriptures. Allah is well informed about his servants and he sees everything. He therefore reveals to the Messenger of every nation what they need in their time. Fatih colon 31 Remember, O Messenger, when I sent to you a group of the jinn to listen to the Quran that was revealed to you. When they came to hear it they said to one another, Be quiet, so that we are able to hear it. When the Messenger, peace be upon him, completed his recitation they went back to their people to warn them of Allah's punishment if they do not have faith in this Quran. They said to them, Zero our people, we have heard a book that Allah has revealed after Moses, confirming the previous scriptures revealed by Allah. This book that we heard guides to the truth and it guides to a straight path, which is the path of Islam. al Okhof, colon 29-30 The Bible also affirmed that all the previous laws have to be fulfilled as samples and the details below. Bible says, knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. 
For the prophecy came not in old time by the wall of men, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter 1, 20-21. Bible says, 17 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets, I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them. Matthew 5, 17. No one knows the exact number of the books except Allah the Glorious. After a long period of time, none of these books was in its original text as revealed from Allah. Some of the books appeared to be partly corrupted by the people like Torah, Psalms and Injil, Bible Gospel, which causes contradictions in some verses. Such as the contradictions in these verses thus, 1 Timothy 5.23 says, But use a little wine for your stomach's sake and your frequent infirmities. It contradicts with Romans 14.21 says it is better not to eat meat or drink wine. And Ephesians 5.18 says, Do not drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. For more compare the following verses, 2 Kings 8.26 contradicts 2 Chronicles 36.9. 2 Kings 24-8 contradicts 2 Chronicles 36 9, 2 Samuel 8 4 contradicts 1 Chronicle 18-4, etc. While others were even entirely abrogated like the pages, scripture, of Abraham, Abraham, because protection of these books was left in the hands of the people for Allah does not declare himself protecting them. Hence people have inserted many expressions in the books which were not from Allah and deleted many that were revealed by him. This is why there happens to be different versions of the Bible all over the world. If you search the website below, you will see more than 45, 45, different English versions of the Bible. And each one contradicts with another. And no two versions are exactly alike that some versions contain expressions which could not be found in the others. Those who read the books revealed before Muhammad all and that are currently available, can clearly identify some words which do not fit at all to be from Allah the Almighty. Such as what was claimed in the Bible that Jacob, Yaqub, peace be upon him, had a wrestle with Allah, Genesis 32. 22 to 32, or said Adam, peace be upon him, hid himself from Allah, when he called him in the paradise, Genesis 3. 8 to 10, Prophet Lut, Lot, peace be upon him, was drunk with wine and laid with his own two daughters and he preserved two sons with him, Genesis 1930 to 38. They also added that, Jesus himself said do not think I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Matthew 10 34 to 35. And in many places they called Allah the Lord of the universe with the name of Father and many fabrications which cannot all be expressed in this book, in the interpretation of the meanings of the Noble Quran by Dr. Muhammad M. Khan and Dr. M. Tokhuddin al Hilal. It said under this verse this verse is a challenge to mankind and everyone is obliged to believe in the miracles of this Quran. It is a clear fact that more than 1,400 years have elapsed and not a single word of this Quran has been changed, although the disbelievers tried their utmost to change it in every way. But they failed miserably in their efforts. As mentioned in this holy verse, we will guard it, by Allah. He has guarded. On the contrary, all the other holy books, the Taurat, Torah, the Injil, Bible Gospel, have been corrupted in the form of addition or subtraction or alterations in the original text. Despite the additions and subtractions or alterations in these books, it is necessary for the reader to believe in all of them as revealed by Allah explicitly or implicitly. Besides, Allah revealed the glorious Quran to Prophet Muhammad as the last book to mankind. The Noble Quran was the final book, this is to say, Allah will not reveal another book to mankind till the Day of Judgment. As a result, Allah the Almighty guards the Noble Quran from alterations himself instead of leaving its protection in the hands of mankind. This is why Quran is the only existing holy book that is perfect in content, great in meanings, miraculous in its fact, complete in legislation and with one single version. He did not leave it, Noble Quran, under the protection of mankind as it was with the books before it. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. I alone revealed this Quran to the heart of Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a reminder for people. I will guard the Quran from anything being added to it or subtracted from it, or anything in it being exchanged or altered. al hijjah 15, 9. Indeed, those who disbelieved in the Quran when it came to them from Allah will definitely be punished on the Day of Judgment. And indeed, it is a noble and protected book. Falsehood in the form of subtraction, addition, change or distortion cannot come to it directly or indirectly. It is a revelation from one who is wise in his creation, decree and legislation, and praiseworthy in all conditions. Surat Fusi Lot, 41-42 Why do these people not reflect over the Quran and study it until they realize that it contains no differences or inconsistency, so that they can accept the truth of what you brought? Had it been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found inconsistencies in its rulings and differences in its meanings. And Nisa apostrophe colon 82. The disbelievers from all the various religious groups who disbelieved by making up wrong beliefs and rejecting Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, wish to eradicate Islam. So they undermine the clear proofs establishing that there is only one God and that his messenger has brought the truth. 
However, Allah will not allow anything to stop his sacred path being perfected and being made clear. He will raise his religion above everything else, even if the disbelievers hate that, and if Allah wills something, others are powerless to prevent it. At Torba colon 32. Allah the Almighty provided among the Muslim world those who he blessed to memorize the whole Quranic verses, including its commentary as it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. The Quranic verse above indicates that Allah protected the Noble Quran from alterations so that falsehood cannot come to it, within it or behind it. There exists only one version of the glorious Quran which is the same, in its original text Arabic language, all over the world. Therefore, Quran remains in its original text, uncorrupted, as revealed from Allah now and ever. It is necessary for everyone to believe in it and accept its teachings. Whoever reads the glorious Quran can testify that the entire words in it from the beginning to the end are the words of Allah. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him has a clear proof from his Lord, the Exalted, which is the noble Quran that testifies to the truth of what he says. And the Torah, revealed to Moses, peace be upon him, also testifies to the truth of his prophethood. He was sent as a guide and a mercy to people. He and those who believe with him are not the same as the disbelievers, who wander aimlessly in error. For they believe in the Quran and in Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to whom the Quran was revealed. As for those who disbelieve in it from the different groups, the fire of hell will be their promised destination on the day of judgment. So the messenger, peace be upon him, should not be in any doubt about the Quran, and about their destination, because it is the truth, in which there is no doubt. However, most people do not have faith, despite the coming together of clear signs and evidence. Hud colon 17. O believers, be firm in your faith in Allah, his messenger, the Quran which he revealed to his messenger and the books he revealed to the messengers before him. Anyone who disbelieves in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers and the day of judgment has strayed far from the straight path. Anisa apostrophe colon 136. O messenger, do you not see those who argue about the signs of Allah, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., denying them despite them being clear? So you can wonder at their condition whilst they are turning away from the truth despite it being so clear? Those who denied the Quran and the truth I sent my messengers with, these deniers will soon learn the outcome of their denial and they shall see the bad ending. They will learn its outcome when the shackles will be on their necks and the chains on their feet, with the angels of hell dragging them. They will drag them in hot boiling water, then they will be burnt in the fire. Then it will be said to them, to scold and rebuke them, where are your claimed gods you committed idolatry by worshipping? Besides Allah, from your idols who could not benefit or harm? The disbelievers will say, they have disappeared from us, so we cannot see them. In fact, we did not worship anything in the world which deserved to be worshipped. In the way these people were led astray, Allah leads the disbelievers astray from the truth in every era and place. It will be said to them, that punishment which you are suffering is due to your rejoicing over the idolatry you were upon and due to your excess in rejoicing. Enter the doors of hell, staying therein forever. Wretched is the abode in which those arrogant to the truth will reside. Gophir colon 69-76 those who rejected the signs of Allah proving the truth of the messengers, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., and denied that they would meet with Allah on the day of judgment. Their good actions will come to nothing, because they were not based on faith. And they will be repaid for their disbelief in Allah and for associating partners with Allah, the repayment for which is living eternally in the fire of hell. Allah apostrophe raf colon 147. Those who disbelieve in the signs and verses of Allah proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., will be entered into a fire that surrounds them on the day of judgment. Whenever their skins have been burned, they will be replaced with fresh skins, so that they continue to feel the punishment. Allah is mighty, and nothing detracts from his might. And he is wise in his administration and decree. And Nisu apostrophe colon 56. Those who reject Allah's clear signs and verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., and are too proud to follow them, have lost everything. Because the gates of heaven will not open to their actions because of their disbelief, nor will they open for their souls when they die. Such people will never enter paradise until the camel, one of the largest animals, goes into the eye of a needle, one of the smallest things. The aforementioned is impossible, and so is the idea that they will ever enter paradise. In such a way does Allah reward those who stubbornly do wrong. For these people who rejected the truth, because they were too proud, is a bed of hell to lie on, and above them is a covering of torment. This is the way in which Allah rewards those who overstep his limits through their disbelief in him, and through their turning away from him. Allah apostrophe raf colon 40-41. Tell the Jews and Christians who make these baseless claims that you have faith in Allah and the Quran which he revealed to you, and in what he revealed to Abraham and his sons Ishmael and Isaac, and to Jacob, and in what he revealed to the prophets from the descendants of Jacob. 
say that you have faith in the Torah which Allah gave to Moses, and the Gospel which he gave to Jesus, and in all the scriptures that he gave to every one of the prophets. With no distinction between them, having faith in all of them, not only having faith in some and rejecting others. Tell them that you humbly surrender to him alone. If the Jews and the Christians, and other disbelievers, have faith in the same way that you do, then they have been guided to the right way of life which Allah is satisfied with. Yet if they turn away from faith because they reject all the prophets or some of them, then they are in disagreement and are against you. Do not be sad, O Prophet, because Allah will protect you from their harm and evil, and give you victory over them. Allah hears all that they say, and knows all their intentions and actions. al baqarah are colon 140-141. As for those who disbelieve and deny his signs proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., they are the people of the fire of hell, who will live there eternally. al baqarah are colon 39. Those who disbelieve in Allah and reject his verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., are the companions of the fire of hell, which they will enter as a punishment for their disbelief and rejection. They will remain in the fire of hell eternally, just as a companion remains with his companion. al Maida colon 10. Those who disbelieve in Allah and his messenger, and reject the verses Allah revealed to his messenger, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., they are the companions of the fire, which they will enter and never leave. al Maida colon 86. Those who deny our verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. are like those who are deaf and cannot hear, and like those who are dumb and cannot speak. Together with this they are in total darkness, in which they cannot see. So how can such a person be guided? Alamus guides whomever he wills from among people and guides whomever he wills by placing such a person on a straight path that has no crookedness. Alan apostrophe and colon 39. And I made for the hellfire, many people from humankind and the jinn, because of my knowledge that they would do the actions of the people of hell. They have hearts by which they do not understand what will benefit them and what will harm them. Eyes which they do not use to see the signs of Allah proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., within themselves and upon the horizons, so that they can learn from them. And they have ears which they do not use to listen to the verses of Allah, so that they might reflect over them. Such people resemble cattle in their lack of sense, rather, they are even more astray. They are oblivious to faith in Allah and the last day. Allah apostrophe raf colon 179. There is no one more oppressive than the person who is reminded of the verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of his Lord. But he did not pay any attention to the threat of punishment contained therein and he turned away from taking a lesson. Forgetting the disbelief and since he had done in his worldly life without repenting. I have placed on the hearts of people with this description covers that prevent them from understanding the Quran, and in there is deafness so that they cannot listen to it acceptingly. If you call them to faith they will never respond to what you call them towards as long as there are covers on their hearts and deafness in their ears. al Kof colon 57. They are those who disbelieve in the signs, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of their Lord that prove his oneness and disbelieved in meeting him. Hence their actions became void due to their denial, and so they will not have any value with Allah on the Day of Judgment. al Kof colon 105. And whoever turns away from my reminder and does not accept it or respond to it shall have a constricted and miserable life in this world and in the transitory stage. And I shall lead him towards the gathering place on the day of judgment without eyesight and proof. This person will say, O oh Lord, why did you raise me blind today when I could see in the world? Allah said in refutation of him, This is like what you did in the world, because my signs came to you but you turned away from them and left them. Likewise, you will be left today in punishment. And this is the kind of reward I give to the one engrossed in unlawful desires and who turns away from believing in the clear proofs, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., from his Lord. And the punishment of Allah in the hereafter is even more horrible, severe, and lasting, than the life they will have in the world and in the transition. Tar colon 124-127 And those who disbelieved in Allah and rejected the signs proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., he revealed unto his messenger will face a humiliating punishment in hell. al Hajj colon 57. O messenger, remember the day I shall gather from each of the nations a group from amongst them the leaders who used to disbelieve in our error. So they can precede their followers to the fire, the first group will be held until the last group of leaders are gathered and then they will be led to the reckoning. And their being led will continue until when they come to the place of their reckoning, Allah will say to them rebukingly, 
Did you deny my signs, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., which proved my oneness and which comprised my sacred law? Whilst you did not have proper knowledge to judge them to be false and disbelieve in them, or what was it that you were doing, believing or denying? And the punishment will befall them due to their disbelieving in Allah and denying his Iyaz proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. They will not speak to defend themselves due to their inability and the falsity of their proofs. al Nomal colon 83-85 As for those who disbelieve in Allah and reject his verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. that were revealed to his messengers, the resurrection and the accounting. They are the ones who will constantly punished. Aram colon 16. I will definitely make these disbelievers who left the obedience of their Lord and do not repent, suffer trials and afflictions in a worldly life, for perhaps due to those worldly afflictions, they will repent to Allah. There is no one more oppressive than the one who is admonished with the verses of Allah proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., but does not take heed, but turns away without caring about them. Indeed, I will inevitably take retribution from the criminals, because of their committing disbelief and sins, and their turning away from the my verses. As sage to Colin 21-22. So we will definitely make those who disbelieved in Allah and rejected his messengers suffer from a severe punishment on the day of judgment. I will definitely requite them with a punishment for the worst of their actions, i.e. ascribing partners with Allah and sins. That aforementioned requital is the requital of those who disbelieved in him and rejected his messengers, it is the hellfire which they will live forever never to come out of it. It is a requital for their rejection of the verses of Allah and not believing in them despite their clarity and strength in proof proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. Fusilot colon 27-28 Those who have faith in Allah and in his messengers without differentiating between them are the ones who are the truthful ones. The martyrs have their generous reward prepared for them with Allah, and they will also have a light which shines in front of them and on their right sides on the day of judgment. As for those who disbelieved in Allah and his messengers and rejected my verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. that were revealed to my messenger. They are the people of hell which they will enter on the day of judgment and live within forever, never to come out of it. Hadith colon 19. Those who disbelieved in Allah and reject my verses proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. which I revealed to my messenger. They are the people of the fire who will remain there forever. What an evil destination is theirs. At Tagab in colon 10. Then he is required to be from those who have faith in Allah and advise each other to remain steadfast on act of obedience and refraining from sins, and bearing patience over difficulties, together with advising one another to show mercy to the servants of Allah. Those are the people of the right. As for those who disbelieve in my verses, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., that were revealed to my messenger, they are the people of the left. A closed fire will be set upon them on the day of judgment, with which they will be punished. Al-Balad colon 17 to 20. Therefore it is necessary to believe in all the books as revealed by Allah. Disbelieving one of them as revealed from Allah the Almighty is the same as disbelieving all of them. This is a great sin before Allah and if you die without believing the books, you will abide in hellfire forever and the intercession of any intercessors will not be of any use to you.